Hello everyone, my name is Connor Hartnett, PGA Professional and 3D Specialist with K-Motion. Power and distance are two of the most talked about subjects in golf, especially recently with how far players are hitting it each and every year on tour. So today I want to go over three really simple but effective biofeedback programs that you can train in your K-Coach or K-Player software to really help you create power early in the golf swing to give you the best chance to create the most power speed and really energy release in the downswing and into the golf ball. Um, so today we're going to start with our first drill, which is takeaway sequence 2040. And what this drill does is it teaches you how to separate your lower and upper body early in the backswing. So think of like if we're stretching a rubber band, this is like that initial pull on the rubber band, that initial stretch that you create if you're going to snap it. So what we want to do is we want to get into our golf posture here and we want to feel like we're going to rotate and our upper body is almost going to outrace our lower and create you know 40 degrees of rotation with our torso 20 degrees of rotation with our pelvis so this creates that initial stretch so we go back we hear the tone um, you know a lot of players will take the club away with both their roots with their pelvis and torso together which makes it very difficult to, to create more stretch and power in the downswing so if we do this one more time it really helps create that disassociation between your pelvis and torso right in the takeaway. So our next um, activity is called backswing core engagers. So now that we get to the top of the swing and we have stretch created, we want to maintain that stretch by really engaging our core or our abdominals. So think of it like if you have a rubber band, we want to hold on to that stretch. We don't want to decrease that pull on the rubber band. So what we do is we get into our normal golf posture. And what we're going to do is when we get into the top of our backswing, we really feel like that core is engaged, okay? So, one more time, we go back, and we really feel like we're engaging those abdominals and keeping that good position at the top. Now, if you were to deactivate your abdominals, right, now your lower back, your lumbar is now activated, which then is going to make it really difficult to then transition or make rotate into the downswing. So... Let's do this, uh, you can do this with a medicine ball or a golf club, so let's do this two more times. So go back, feel that core engaged, and once more, back, feel that core engaged. Now, our last um, drill that we're gonna do is called the Hip Twisters Phase Two, which I've done in the past. This is probably one of my favorite uh, biofeedback drills in the software. This then really kind of completes the circle, right? It creates, it helps you create an additional stretch into the downswing to then ultimately everything fires. So, you know, if we're thinking on the rubber band, we go back and then right before release, you take, you do that initial pullback before you snap the rubber band to make it the most powerful um, and efficient transfer of energy as you can. So what we do is I'm gonna do without a golf club for this and we get into our position and we go to the top of the backswing and we feel that pelvis really get ahead of the torso and then fire the torso and the rest of the body through. So if we think about it, we go early separation in the backswing and we get to the top, we keep our core engaged and then we really feel that pelvis then uh, rotate down in the downswing and then everything else fires. So, you can use this with a medicine ball, you can use it with a golf club, you can use it really anywhere. Um, and combining these three biofeedback drills together really will help you set yourself up for creating the most power you can in the downswing and into the golf ball. So remember that analogy with the rubber band, you know, create the most stretch you can before letting it go and snapping it.